All right, now I've brought it in, and what we're going to do now is we're going to open it up. So you've seen what I just showed you. This is how it's all set up. Um, the outlets for it where it has the hardwire options and the two receptacles up here. And, and it's been sitting a long time. So I figured I'd get in and test it out, and I did. And it fired up just fine. don't think I need to show you that part of it, but you can see here. Um, you can look at the fans. I don't know if I can get you a picture of these fans. See all them screws going around inside them fans? That's not just some stamped together plastic garbage for that fan motor. That's This is very high dollar. So what we're going to do is see if I can give you some details here. See how clear that will be. You can get a little idea. You can pause it if you need to. And this is the model number. Now my other models are TN, they are TN models, so they have a solar charger and a, a UPS, uninterrupted power supply uh, switch in them that will switch from a line voltage, and as you can tell by this one, it doesn't have a 120 inlet on it, it's just a standard inverter. Now I found that the company I get this from is a very very uh dependable company I haven't had any problems with them this is 12 volt 3000 watt true sine wave 300 amp which is realistic uh made in taiwan so uh let's go with this and and we'll get you a internal look so you can see the difference between it and a lot of inverters and it's it's significant all right the cover is pretty simple however on under the decal you will find, and I learned this with my other mean well, that there is, and it looks rougher than it is, but you will find that there is a small screw, one of these here on the end in the dead center. You can focus it where you see it at. It's kind of dead center between the two main lugs right there, okay? And on the other end, it is off-centered, and you can see where that's at, just almost above that little vent. Now. That's the outlet, and I'll show you how it's working here. So, all right, now, what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna take the cover off of it, and we will get a view inside of why a mean well is the best damn inverter built. Better than a Sunny Boy, better than an Outback, better than whatever brands, even some of the high-grade uh, Kisei's. This is the best. And I bought this one years ago in case one of mine quit. Well, I run my inverters, these inverters, mean wells. I run them to power everything. What you see right now and here, all this light is all powered. It's everything runs off of these. So if you need access to the fuses, they're down in here. And let me get this little light here. So there's the fuse bank and they're all 40s. There's a row of 40s there four of them four of them and four of them like that now as far as the internal components you're going to see that none of this is heat synced to this this uh this case however every one of these has massive torads in them and they have very 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 massive tape wound style transformers okay and then as you see over here, these are parts you probably never recognized in another inverter. This is for the staging. This is where your volts, your DC voltage comes in and begins to get its stages. Very high tech. This is made in Taiwan. This is not some Chinese copycat half-ass inverter. This is made in Taiwan. Now, you wanna know how big this unit is? This might be an easy way to do it here. Let's get a dimensions here. It is a foot and a half long plus, a little over, okay. And width-wise, it is right at 11 inches wide. And height-wise, it is four and a half inches, almost four and, four and five, almost four and five eighths with the top on it. So the mean well is drastically different. And to get rid of any kind of noise in the, in the electricity, any kind of uh, feedback 
all the wires go through a choke. All the wire, all the, your 110 volts gets conditioned and has a complete conditioned circuit that this runs on. Now this is a heat sink material here. This is right. This is a vibration resistant that keeps it from knocking around like you see in some of these inverters where their torads come loose. And all cabling in this thing is just, just huge. So if you want to see the, the basics of what's in there, these transformers are dedicated. This is dedicated to the 3000 watt model. They're not transformers that were mocked up for some other process or other part. And like I said before, all of the power components in this are just, just completely heavy duty. All the brands of all this are very high grade. Every one of these capacitors, these large capacitors, are an extremely high grade. Now, this is a 3000 watt inverter. It doesn't brag about being able to do 6000 watts. Even the ones that claim to do 6000 watts cannot. That's a lie. Um, if you do 6,000 watts, go in there and look at the super fine micro print, and it's going to say it can do 6,000 watts for, you know, uh, one mi uh, microsecond or even a millisecond. And that's just a total horseshit story um, of what they're capable of doing. Now, this inverter allows you for wiring in neutral commons and then lines and ground and this allows multiple adaptations to it this handles a surge capacity this inverter can handle it can handle a surge capacity of about 5000 watts and it can handle it for up to about two seconds it can handle 4000 watts for up to about 10 seconds so if you compare this to the chinese knockoff inverters the this thing here actually has a much higher capability and i can tell you now because air conditioners i have in my house run on this thing and they don't have a problem when i bought this inverter now your model if you buy a brand new one that just rolled off the shelf in 2016 it could be different it most likely isn't but it could be different purchasing this inverter as a backup was a good idea however since it's a mean well all four of them that I have running right now, including one, if you look at one of my older videos, it, it doesn't fail. I run these 24 seven. These fans are just absolutely bulletproof. I've never had a fan fail running 24 seven. And these fans run off of a very dedicated circuit that doesn't allow it to fault. So if you're interested in a very good inverter and you want to see all the parts that are in this inverter, Compare that to all of the parts in, you know, whatever kind of inverter. Hold on, I'll grab one. So this, there's your 3000 watt inverter there, and this one's a 3000 watt inverter. So which one would you rather have? You know, there's your 3000 watt Chinese inverter, case, Durified, and there's you a 3000 watt Taiwanese made inverter. Here is your parts, very guttural basic parts here with lots of crappy ass MOSFETs to go bad, or do you want this that is engineered to go in a $300,000 motorhome or a yacht. These are sold by companies like Boats and RVs that put them in $300,000 motorhomes. So that, I hope, will help you. Um, this is, uh, the first video is the opening of the, vid of the unit and a little description. And this second video is the opening of the unit and giving you the details lighting causing your eye problems giving you the details of the quality of the build so you can see very high quality build and this uses a circuitry that does an, an impressive powerful job of reproducing your electricity that over there <laughs> is no freaking comparison all right guys hope that helps you out Buy you a mean well. 
Invest the extra dollars. Don't waste your money on that garbage.